What did you go to NYU for? I, I was into NYU film school. For film school. And right. I concentrated, I, I guess, I used to say I had a concentration in children's TV, but I really only, I took a couple classes in children's TV. <laughs> but uh, basically I went to film school. And, and, and so, I mean, you've told the story, but in a nutshell, who did you bump into first? Was it Showalter mm -mm. or Marino? Me, me and T Todd Hollebeck and Ken Marino Todd. were um, were the in a class ahead. We so we were there as freshmen, and Ken Marino. I met the first day of school because I was assigned to be roommates with somebody he grew up with in Long Island, and so my myself and Craig Wedren were living with this guy and. Ken Marino knocked on our door and he was like this Italian guy from Long Island. And we were like, <laughs> gotta oh, love Ken. Ken. No, but we were, we loved him from the moment one. So we all were hanging out and Todd Hollebeck, basically Mo Willems, who is now the biggest children's book author on earth had started, he was one ahead of us and had started an improv group and a sketch group at NYU. And I joined that. And, um, then, uh, there was a new group that Todd Hollebeck Todd Hollebeck was in our group and he decided, we decided that we didn't want to let new freshmen into our group. So Todd decided instead to start like a B team, a JV squad, and he left to start a new group. And that was like an open meeting. Anyone who wants to be part of this new sketch comedy group, uh, that was like an offshoot of our main group, the Sterile Yak, um, could do it. And then that became the state. That was the group that, you know, and every, the main people from the state Michael Showalter and Carrie Kenny and Tom Lennon, they all just showed up there. And uh, that became the, that was like the freshman B team group. And then when it became clear to me and pretty much everyone that that group was what was really special, um, our main senior group sort of dissolved and I begged to be part of this, the new group. Really? Yeah. Well, there are a lot of people that got, were there at first, but they kind of were weeded out because they just weren't funny. There and were some, yeah, but it was, shocking how much of the main core group was still the same you know the state never officially disbanded we're still a group it's 11 of us and this is now 30 plus years later and and it's the same core do you think you'll ever get together again to do something yeah we do we talk about it actually quite regularly and really? we've we've done we have done we have reunited with and written new material for certain live shows we've done uh over the years and you know we're all still friends and we all still recognize how special it was and we are always talking about brewing something i see how supportive you are i was at joe latruglio's screening for his film his horror movie great movie great and you were there supporting and michael jan was there ken marino yeah. was there and it was nice to see after all these years you guys still support each other i mean not just that we went over to his house when he was editing and we like helped gave him notes gave him notes and like we always it's really great to have uh you know a, a core of people that you have each other's backs, even though we've all obviously gone in various different directions and pursued different avenues and worked with different people, but you have sort of like a family that you came from and it's really nice. Do you try to cast those guys or your close friends? It seems like you do obviously in, in just about everything you do, if you can, if it's right. Yeah. I mean, I have over the years um, done that. <laughs> Did they ever get mad when you're like, what happened to my audition? What about me? Yeah, totally. Do they I ever mean, say anything to you? Sure. I mean, you know, they, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a double-edged sword like we on our movie the 10 we tried to cast every single person in the state and you um, and ken wrote that yeah me and ken yeah and we did uh give everybody a part but you know it's like sometimes you know when you try to make it a thing and then it's like it, it it's you know how casting is you never know it's it's hard when you have to have a mandate about casting yeah um no matter what and but uh it has definitely been a thing where we try to bring in or, or we end up bringing it like a lot of times, for example, in our movie Wanderlust, we had this part um, of this guy who's a naked guy running around the this commune. And we auditioned all sorts of different actors who were great and like different types and really funny. And did you audition them naked? Some of them did, unasked, came in and, and auditioned naked. Unsolicited, they fully took naked, their clothes off. Saw their penis. It was crazy. Did you love it? I mean, I, I, I mean, love it as in like, like that they, they took the risk, not that you love their dongs. I love the around. memory that that happened, but no, I was not loving that. I <laughs> would rather than not do that. I'm like, you, we can, if we get to there, we'll look at your Yeah, we don't have to later. do that right now. Um, <laughs> Any big ones, by the way? Yeah. 
There were some big doms. There were some big ones. Yeah. I bet they stretched it and put warm water on it. I mean, before. It's, it's hard for me to have any because I, I have like the biggest penis. Um, <laughs> I'm like one of the one of the. I'm just sort of famous thing. I'm one of the biggest penises in Hollywood. But uh, anyway, the point about that was that we, at the end of the day, we as we were trying to figure out how to who's going to really nail this, we were just like, oh, let's just get Joe. And then like Joe Trujillo came in and was like the greatest thing. You know, like sometimes for me, the luckiest thing about me is for my taste, these are some of the funniest people I've ever met and ever will meet. And like, you know, it, it just happens that we all knew each other in college. So great. Why not? When you were doing the state in your mind, do you recall saying this guy is going to be a star? Were there anybody in the state or where did you just think everybody here is going to be, but what, what, who was the guy or the girl that you were like, they are going to make it in Hollywood? Well, as I mentioned, I wasn't in the group originally, so I got to see their first show, which was like literally freshman at NYU in a little black box theater doing some skits that they wrote. But I was like, holy fuck. And when I think, I, I think Michael Black stood out to me first. I was like, this guy is so funny. Oh my so God. So funny. But then very quickly, I, I clocked them all. Michael Showalter and Carrie Kenny. I was just like, Jesus, these guys are really funny. You know, 